Hi, and welcome back to the seventh part of building SS using Django and Vue.js. In this part, I'm going to make it possible to edit and delete categories and bookmarks. I'm going to start by making it possible to edit a category. I go to Visual Studio Code and I go to views.py inside bookmark inside the bookmark app. I can copy the category add view and rename it to category edit. Here I will also need one more parameter for the category ID. I can also change this template and I need to and on top here I can get the actual category because I need it to pass it into the form category category equals category dot object dot filter created by equals request user dot get pk category id I need to pass this in here then I say instance equals there and instance equals if I didn't have this here this would just create a new category and since I added this here this the form will be automatically filled but now I can remove this and I can just say form.save like that perfect and then I can create the template for this. I can just copy this, new file, category edit.html, edit category. I can show the title up here, category.title, save changes and save. Now we need to add a view to the URLs file. Category edit. Can copy this. Edit. 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 That's everything we need here. And then we can go to categories.html file and change this URL category edit category ID and save so if I go here now refresh oops forgot something Okay, that was correct. The instance was supposed to be after the request post. If I refresh now, I did one more thing. Reverse for category edit doesn't exist. Okay. Category edit, category edit. Sorry, category dot ID. Now we can click the edit. And as you can see, this was filled in with the category. Okay, I forgot to pass in the category there. So I can go back to views.py. Now it's like it should. I can just add this like that, save changes, and now it's edited. Perfect. Then I can make it possible to delete a category. I create a new view. 
login required def category delete request category id can get this letter category dot delete return redirect categories so when we delete the category we will be redirected to the categories okay then i need to go to category.html and create a link up here url category delete pass in the category.id delete category and save and then the last thing i need to do is to import the url category delete replace replace not replace with delete and save then i can go to the browser to test this now the news category is deleted next thing we need to do then is to make it possible to edit a link so i just follow the same procedure go to views.py inside the bookmark i can copy this bookmark edit bookmark id and on top here i need to get this bookmark created by equal request user so you know that the bookmark is owned by the requested user pk bookmark id then i need to pass this in here Replace this with form.save Then we can save and then I need to import this view to the urls.py Edit bookmark int so here I can have here I need two parameters bookmark id like that and then I can add the link to the bookmark edit inside the category.html there URL bookmark edit category dot id and bookmark dot id and save then we can go to the browser to test this edit two and two and then it was edited so i need to add a delete button here too so i can start with the view just copy the top here bookmark delete bookmark delete return reader category category id equals category id then the last thing is to import this to the urls.py delete 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 and then i can go into category.html Create a new button here. 
or delete. We need to pass in the category ID, the bookmark ID. Card footer item, delete. Parse. Okay, there should not be no comma there. If I click delete and duck the go, it's removed from here. So now we can both edit and delete categories and bookmarks. In the next part of this series, I will make it possible to show alerts here when we have deleted or added categories and bookmarks. And I also want to make some other small improvements. If you want notification when the next video is published, you can subscribe to my channel and remember to click the bell.